Hi guys, uh, this is a tutorial for hatch skip. The intention of this trick is to skip hitting the switch up ahead to open the hatch down the corridor there and having to walk all around production room. Uh, this trick is used in all DK64 speedrunning categories for different purposes, so it's a fairly good trick to know. The point is to clip out of bounds in that corner, and there are two different methods of getting out of bounds. Uh, one is an orange lag boost, a uh, lag boost and damage boost, which only works on N64, and the other one is a robot push, which works on both consoles. I will be showing both of these off as both De Lanky and DK since they are used in different categories. So we're gonna do robot push first since that's the most common one because it's both versions. Uh, it's a bit easier to comprehend. So first off, you just want to walk up here, aggro this right robot here, make sure he's following you, you walk up to the wall, right around this pole, and kind of slide along the wall here. Um, if you if you lose aggro, you want to be sliding back to the right until he aggros you again, and then go like back and forth like this. Uh, in, on the initial, if he if he loses aggro on the initial slide, you will be you were going too fast and got too far away from him. And if you go too slow, you will get hit, and then he probably will lose aggro. But you shouldn't worry about it, you can always just aggro him. Um, so I'm gonna show that again. Just aggro this guy. Walk up against this pole right here. Make sure he's following you. And then just slide into this corner. For the navigation, uh, you want to jump, I typically want to long jump straight out, so you, uh, so you load, not this room, it's slightly to the left. If you load that corridor, you want to be going slightly left, you want either the, either the arcade directly, or this corridor to be loaded. And then, um, ideally you'll end up uh, under the, under the arcade directly. So you don't need to look for the right spot. Every time, um, a, neat, a neat detail to know is every time you are out of bounds and your Kong disappears is you load a new area. So that way you can, you, you can use that to your advantage to navigate here. So once you're under ar the arcade, you can see the cage above you. You want to center that on your C-up ca camera. Go out of C up and press R to center your camera and then just walk straight. You can hear the cage opening. Once the cage is open, uh, you keep walking forward till you open this. You can either follow the tag barrel lights, but if you don't have them, uh, if you don't have them on for various reasons, like me re-entering factory here, um, you can follow the right, like kind of left, uh, slightly left wall of the straight going corridor. Like the corridor that goes from arcade onward, you want to follow that just slightly left of it. Keep walking until you until you Kong you until your Kong disappears. You'll be somewhere close to the GB. Uh, you can walk fairly slowly and just go into C up immediately as your Kong disappears, and you won't fall in bounds. Uh, obviously, when you're doing this in a run, you will also see the the golden banana glitters, and you can just follow them once they load. So that was robot push. Next we'll be doing the orange clip. So for the orange clip, you want to walk up here, uh, go into C up and throw a couple of oranges at these robots because you don't want these robots to be alive. If the robots are alive, not only will they usually attack you, but the big thing is that your oranges will home in on them and um, your setup will be screwed. After you kill them, uh, you want to walk up into this corner and line up Lanky's foot kind of with the black speck there on the back wall. Turn around and go into C up. Line up the left side of your screen kind of with um, the corner of um, the switch up in the, on the floor. And then you throw one slow and three fast oranges, something like this. The rhythm, uh, the angle is fairly lenient. The rhythm is the important part. Uh, it takes some practice to find, but typically if you get, I'll try to show this off. If you don't get hit at all, 
if the oranges just blow up and um, they don't hit you. That means, that usually means you threw the three oranges too late. Something like that. So if that happens, you threw the three oranges too late. If your rhythm is otherwise just off, uh, he will take damage, but, but will, like slide along the wall instead of clipping out of bounds. It's not 100% consistent due to being a lag clip, but it is fairly consistent as orange clips go, and just takes a little bit of practice. If you don't, if you don't feel like you're consistent enough with orange, uh, with robot push, you can do this method on N64. Uh, they are very comparable in speed, but you have to take your orange count into account, especially when doing this in any percent where you won't be getting any orange refills. Or if you're doing an, a no levels early route with a lot of dance skips. So I'm gonna be doing the both both those methods as DK as well. Uh, I personally consider DK to be a bit easier due to his large hitbox, but that is maybe maybe that's just due to preference. So for DK, the robot push setup is basically identical. You want to aggro this guy. Make sure he follows you. Go up against the wall, against that pole. Just walk into the corner. They pushed out like that. Basically the same. And like I said, uh, I find it a bit easier because DK has a bigger hitbox. But it works basically the exact same. Uh, the difference is more in the orange clip, which I will show in a second. For DK's orange clip, the initial phase is the same. You walk up here, going to see up and throw these oranges. Note that going into see up makes it faster, so you don't have to watch the orange drawing animation. This one. Um, so for DK, you just walk into this corner. There's no lineup uh, in the corner. You just walk into the corner, turn around. No jumping in to adjust yourself, nothing. You just walk in, turn around. You can use the same camera lineup, line up at the corner there. And I tend to use the same sort of rhythm as for Lenky. Uh, some people say that you can use a little bit of a faster, faster rhythm for DK, but there's some lenience there. Um, and it, just do anything that works for you. Same, it's the same idea. You throw one slow one, three fast ones. Like I said, not completely consistent, especially since I'm not, I haven't done this in a while. But you get the idea. Uh, like I said, this method takes a little bit of pra a little bit more practice. Uh, robot pushes may be easier to do without practice, but getting it consistent is a bit diff more difficult, if you ask me. Uh, this one will once you figure it out initially it will work 90% of the time uh, As long as you have oranges to spare So for n64 definitely try both methods and see what you like for VC you obviously don't have a choice If you have any questions about this trick or other DK64 speedrunning tricks uh, you can leave a comment in the comment section or ask in the DK64 speedrunning discord which you can find via our, sp our speedrun.com page in the resources. Thank you guys for watching, and have a good one.